Howdy everybody out there in the internet land on planet earth and beyond. It's me, Dano. I'm back again to do a little review on an app called Sky Safari. I'm going to show you some cool tips and tricks. I use that app all the time. I use it for uh, planning imaging sessions. I use it for field of view. A lot of cool stuff in there. So uh, let's give it a look-see, shall we? So you're going to go to your app store uh, on whichever platform you're using. I have uh, an iPhone, so I'm going to open up the app store, I'm going to type in Sky Safari. One word. Uh, this is the free version right here. Um, if you want to download that and check it out without paying anything, it doesn't have all the features. You cannot control your telescope mount with the free version, but you can check it out and uh, see what it has to offer. This is the highest paid one. It's the Sky Safari 7 Pro, the latest version is $50. This was on sale last week during the eclipse. I think it was 25, so it was 50% off. Just uh, had to you know, watch out for these to go on sale. They will go on sale occasionally. Okay, and here they have Sky Safari 6 Pro, which is $15. They have um, 7 Plus, which is 20. And then the version I'm using, Sky Safari 6 Plus, I believe it was $5.99 when I bought it. So, yep, this is the one I'm using, and we'll go from here. All right, here we go. So we're inside Sky Safari. I'm going to scroll around the horizon. You can see the directional icons there. So you'll know which direction you're you're looking to find your objects. Uh, you can pinch in and pinch out to zoom, and you can also use these plus and minus arrows in the corner. And the basics, uh, the little tab on the bottom, uh, the far left you have your search bar. You can go in here, and you can actually type in an object, or you can you can just go to tonight's best and scroll through. So say you want to look up Orion, you just scroll through tonight's best and there's M42, Orion Nebula, you click on that, it'll give you some more details. Uh, it'll have the, it rises at 8.11 p.m., it transits at 2.02 a.m., and it sets at 7.49 a.m. So stuff like that will help you plan out uh, if you're going to shoot the night sky, you know, what time. Uh, stuff's going to come up over the horizon. So you have a list of uh, tonight's best. You have several lists in this uh, section here. You have suns and planets and moons, uh, asteroids, comets, stars, uh, best deep sky objects. And so you can search like that. And then, um, or you can just scroll through and, and it'll show you something. You might find, oh, what's this? And you just click on it. Oh, that's the North American Nebula. Cool. All right. And I'm going to hit that little selection with the little finger pointed right next to the search tab and hit object info. And same thing, it'll bring up when it rises, transit sets, its coordinates, all that good stuff. And you can scroll over and there'll be a picture of it on most objects. Uh, and it'll tell you about it there. So that's the basic, uh, you know, search function for everything. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the observe tab. Um, well, I'll talk about the compass and the time tab real quick. So your compass, you can actually hold that up and look into the night sky, and you could you can see what you're looking at. If you see a bright star, you can just aim your phone at it, and it'll tell you, oh, that's Vega cool so that that's cool and then I'll cut that off uh, the time tab you can um, fast forward through the night so right now it's just before five o'clock and 
Orion comes up over here in this general direction in the southeast. So I've got the little uh, underscore deal under the minutes, and that does the best job as far as just kind of fast forwarding through the night. So I hit the, the far right arrow key, and we'll see Orion come up here shortly. There it is right there. Boom. There's Orion. About 10 o'clock at night, it gets pretty high. So that's the uh, that's the time and compass feature. Uh, you can do the year, the month, the day, but uh, even the hour and the second. The second will be very slow on fast forwarding, but if you, the minutes works best, so I can go you know back and forward. The moon's going to come up at. Uh, about 10 o'clock, 10 15, the moon will be up. So that is definitely a useful tool there, the time feature. One more thing I wanted to show you before I get to the observe tab is I just got into planetary when I got my uh, big scope recently. And I, did, I never knew this, but you can zoom, zoom in to Jupiter. You see Jupiter there. You can actually zoom in and you keep zooming, you'll start seeing the moons. And then you keep zooming and you'll actually start to see some detail, which is really cool. And that is representative of the actual um, surface detail of how it's facing Earth right now. So if I wanted to image the red spot, I can actually use this time feature, zoomed in on Jupiter, and just fast forward. Well, oh, I messed up. Let me back it up. I messed up. I wasn't clicked on Jupiter. There we go. Click on Jupiter first. I've got it highlighted. Now I'm going to zoom in. It'll stay locked into it. I'm going to zoom in there. And there you can see the red spot right there. So at about 12 o'clock, that red spot will be facing us. So that would be a good time to image Jupiter if you're wanting to get the red, the giant red spot. It's pretty cool. Really cool. I never knew about that until recently. All right, let's zoom out. Okay, let's just click on now. And this, uh, we're going to fast forward back to um, when Orion's coming up. Okay, there's Orion right there. So, the last thing I wanted to talk about, I'm going to close the time tab, is this observe button. Um, you can see you can make a list with this observing list. I have a favorites. I have 22 objects in there so far. Uh, these sharpless images, uh, sharpless 2 240, lowers nebula, stuff like that, usually won't be in tonight's best or any of those catalogs. But you can do a search for it and then save it as a favorite. Um, and then what that'll do is if you click on the little tab to highlight, those are highlighted right there in the blue. I have those, uh, there's some Medusa Nebula, I have it saved as a favorite. That'll be cool to image one day, hopefully. But anyways, um, so that's your observing list. And I want to talk about the equipment tab down here. Uh, this is a really useful tool. I use this all the time for field of view and stuff. So. Uh, You'll have a list of your lenses or telescopes you can enter. Um, I have a Rokinon 135, Explorer Scientific 102. I have some Canon lenses, uh, William Optics Red Cat, and a Celestron Edge HD 8. So I have all those input into my equipment list. And then I have my cameras listed as well. And then I have my focal reducers and Barlow's listed also. And so once you enter all your equipment in, 
you can come back over here to this observe tab and hit scope display so I forgot to mention this on this section there's just a little slight edit right here to to get this list um, that I have created here I've created multiple fields of view with different cameras lenses scopes stuff like that you have to come all the way down to the bottom and hit add field of view indicator and then you can add your your scope or lens and your camera and your Barlow's and reducers and then when you're done I'll just say uh, we'll just do it for an example I'll say the Rokinon and the 6D and no reducer no Barlow I'll hit done and that should add that to the bottom of my list on scope display yep right there at the bottom and I would just click that on and that's it Let's say I wanted to uh, zoom in. I want to say, let's see, the, I have a Night Cat, and, which is a William Optics Red Cat, and a ZWO ASI 2600, and I have it highlighted. So I would tap on that, turn it on, and then I can zoom in to Orion, and that's going to show me the, uh, the field of view on Orion with that setup. So that's super cool. And so I want to do uh, image the whole constellation of Orion. Go back to observe. Go to scope display. I have a um, Canon 6D and a 50 millimeter lens. Let's see where is that? I thought I had it saved in here. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't see it. There it is, right there. So. Canon 6D and a Canon 50 millimeter lens and that's big enough to get the whole constellation of Orion right there plus some so that's that's a really useful tool uh, I know people use telescopias and um, astronomy tools and stuff like that but it's really cool to have this on your phone where you could just be you know sitting around just like hey, I want to we'll see how this would frame up with this lens so yeah, I use this all the time with the time feature and the observe list. I just learned about that recently, and I'm going to keep adding to that. But yeah, this is a, a really great app. If you don't have it, check it out. There's a free version, and um, I'm probably going to upgrade and get the, get the pro version. I'm just going to wait for it to go on sale. But um, yeah, um, so you can put all your scope information in here, and... If you want to just take it off, you just go back and unhighlight it. That'll take that off. And I actually have a picture of uh, Orion and the horse head and flame framed up just like this. I used this app to frame this up. And I was like, hey, both of those will fit in there with the red cat and, and my camera. And I'll post that at the end of this video. So yeah, it, it's a great app. I use it all the time. You know, you know. It's kind of like my, my planning app for the night. So, yep, there's Sky Safari. Check it out. Clear skies.